Neo, the Chinese automaker that makes uh, this ES8 all-electric SUV, they've sold more than 10,000 of them, had con continually outshined uh, Tesla in uh, the technology of a battery swap. As you remember, Tesla tried it and decided not to go with it. But Neo is a proud pioneer in China that planted quite a few uh, uh, battery swapping stations. But this time around, they're using that same technology to uh, to update the battery technology as they're coming out with the larger size battery. I'll tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward. And as I'm taping this video, you might want to, you might see it tomorrow, but today is Earth Day, so happy Earth Day. I love this picture. Um, this was part of the project that I did a couple of years ago. Um, I just love, love this picture because it's kind of a, you can see the harmony between the, the nature, the planet, the humans, and uh, the technology. Um, absolutely love that. Uh, the, uh, the behind the scenes of making of this video and many other ones like this for pictures like this is on my channel. All right, look, so, so let's talk about Neo. Um, you know, I'm a big fan, and one of the reasons I'm a big fan is because of the battery swapping technology that they have. They've also just announced the new uh, a Neo ES6, which is a smaller um, SUV that's also coming on the market later this year, I believe. Um, they have also a really cool kind of a Siri type of an assistant uh, called uh, Nomi, which is kind of cool. It's kind of a built in. It's less what's going to be happening with uh, Amazon Echo uh, uh, that's going to be built in and to Byton and many other cars. I believe BMW already has it. Um, so that's pretty cool. And again, I can't wait for them to come here. They are already a, a, a public company uh, here in the, in the US. They have offices uh, in Santa Clara, California. Um, and I've even seen one of their uh, products types, production cars uh, driving around, and I posted that uh, on my uh, uh, E4 Electric uh, on on uh, on uh, Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow my Instagram, you might. I, I post a lot of like behind the scenes stories and, and, and pictures, so check it out. It's everywhere on social media I'm under E4 Electric. Now, what they, as you know, the biggest thing that I like about them is they have the, the, the battery swapping technology. And this is something that I really wish Tesla would have gone with because my biggest problem with long distance travel, and as you know, I don't like using superchargers because even, even being superchargers, it still takes 45 minutes, you know, every two, two and a half hours to supercharge, um, especially in a smaller battery like mine, which is 60 kilowatt hour. That's the Tesla I have. Um, and it's hard to sell a new technology to people with an old technology when the new technology is not better in every single way. And obviously when you say, hey, you guys gonna travel uh, and instead of three or five minutes of refueling your car, now you're gonna have to wait for 45 or maybe even an hour if there's a wait. To me, that's unacceptable. The best solution is a battery swap because you can do it as fast um, as, as you can uh, gas your car. Um, Neo had decided to move forward with this technology. Now they have a corridor uh, there in uh, in China with I think over a dozen of these. And I think one of them is literally next to a Tesla supercharger. You know, good contrast and example of that. Um, so it is uh, something that uh, I believe is really cool. Now. The news is coming out as uh, that they now are upgrading the the battery pack from 70 kilowatt hour to 84 kilowatt hour. I believe the cars that are being produced in the in near future will have a bigger pack. Now the current one is uh, has about 240 mile range. That battery pack should add about 20% on top of that. So we're talking about an extra 40, 42. So it's making it you know closer to 300. Uh, but this is where the battery swappable technology comes in place because it's not just for you know long distance traveling. This is for stuff like this. So let me tell you what they're doing, and I you know I absolutely love that. Before that, let me remind you that this channel is sponsored by another Chinese-based fine uh, autom automotive all-electric startup, Byte, and check out their all-electric SUV coming to the U.S. Uh, next year and Europe also next year, starting at only forty-five thousand dollars. Check out the shared experience ex uh, screen, which spans across your entire dashboard. One of five screens in that car. The tech in the UX is absolutely amazing in that. But don't forget to reserve yours. It's absolutely no money down. And there's over 50,000 of them now. So go ahead and do it at bytem.com. There's also a link in the description of this video. Okay, so uh, back to Neo. Uh, so now that they're uh, having this uh, uh, a larger battery, well, what do you do if you're a previous owner? If you had a Tesla, if you want a larger battery, you sell this one and you buy a bigger battery. And that's how it works with pretty much all cars right now, but not with Neo. You can 
buy an upgrade. They will swap the battery because they're swappable for about $7,500, American dollars. Um, not sure if too many people would want to pay for that uh, because it is kind of pricey for just about 20% extra range and the car already has a pretty decent range, but nevertheless, it is an option. Now, the only thing is, I'm not really sure if you still get your money back from the other battery, but that's beside the point. I'm talking about technology here. Now, you can also lease the battery, of course, as you know, but you can also lease it for a day or two. So if you have a 70 kilowatt hour battery, but you want to go in a little bit further, like you're going on a trip, right? Uh, you can uh, re rent one, uh, a larger battery for about 10 American dollars per day. Um, a little steep also, I'd say. But nevertheless, it is an option and it's absolutely now if one thing I should mention, I guess they're offering a 40% discount to those people who already bought or reserved their car uh, before April 1st. So that actually kind of makes sense. So it's, you know, I said it's kind of pricey. Well, 40% off does make a big difference. Um, so that that really brings the price down closer to, you know, 4,000 or so. Uh, and uh, no, a little bit more than that, 5,000. My math is still a little slow today. Um, so yeah, I, listen, I, I absolutely love this. This technology is something that I hope uh, uh, others and maybe Tesla will even rethink it because this is the way to not have a battery stuck to the car. You I mean, you being really stuck with the battery but also it's a way for uh, for people to be able to update and ground it. Downgrade, like, you know, you go on a trip, you want a, you know, longer range battery. And when you just drop off the kids to school and drive two miles to the office every day, you want the smallest battery possible, right? Um, but what if you get a job that's now an hour away? Well, you don't have to buy another car. You can put an updated battery, a bigger battery in your car. You know, obviously pay a little bit more, whether it's a lease or purchase. And off you go. You don't have to change your car. I, I really, really like that. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to get on our VIP list, which is exclusive content that we send out every week that you can see on this channel or our website. I also want to give a quick shout out to uh, Mike Calderbank, one of our newer Patreons. Uh, the only place where you can watch uh, me and all of these videos live. Thank you to all of my Patreons for supporting and contributing to the success of this independent channel. I really appreciate it. All right. Let me know what you guys think about this technology. Let me think. Let me know if you're thinking about getting a Neo once it's here in the United States. Other than that, see you next time, and remember to stay charged.